This guy, huh? In the middle of the wilderness update, just leaves for like five days, refuses to elaborate. Just a mini vacation, I thought, why not? So yeah, this is the final mini boss that they added. The Calvarian, which is the mini Vetian, and I got attacked. For the very first time, I got full teleport block inside the cave. I have my ult scouting outside, but man, I already did 16 hours of Venonatus, 16 hours of the mini beer, the mini Callisto, and then this, I was already so deep in. I was like 40 kills away from 500 KC. So I was just chilling. And then I got full TB'd and there was no way to escape. I don't know, I tried to like go in and out. Yeah, there was probably like a little bit of play that I could have done. But yeah, this guy not only started attacking me inside the cave, but also standing near me, which means all those lightning bolts. Sometimes there's so many around you. I didn't know that it takes one person to spawn like so many of them around you. I thought it takes like a multiple people because I've seen people luring in a way near Vetian. They bring like 10 people and just everyone's getting hit with like lightning bolts. So I mean I, I was frozen and I was like I may as well just use a special attack of my Vigorous Chain Mace which it bleeds you for 20 damage. So if you successfully hit a one it bleeds for 20 damage over time and then I hit both of them. So he was bleeding for 40 damage already. On top of that my mace hits. On top of that the lightning bolts. And there it was, baby, my very first PK in the longest time. And I think out of all 17 KC that I have, if, if you look at my KD ratio at the top, that's like the highest value that I got. Yeah, I'm very proud of this. Oh, oh, oh no way, I got him to do. We're gonna rewind that. We're gonna, we're gonna GF lol. The key, dude, I don't peek at all. Look, I got 17 KC. This is like rarer than anything else. I think the teleport block cleans off, yeah. All right, let's see what's inside there. And that is 4.2 mil. Did I, wow, watch this. I can't even bank anything. I do this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you very much. <laughs> There's a mage outside who says, I'll protect the cave. And he's like in full atoms. Yeah, sure, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to show you how a regular kill goes now. Uh, by the way, when you enter the cave, you get teleported in the middle for some reason. Unlike Callisto, where you get teleported or sent to like the beginning of the room. So everybody would be dropping here. So Vetian has very low HP. As you can see, only 150. But he still has the mechanics of Hellhounds like previously, although they have been graphically updated. And they only have 30 HP. So no longer do you have to kill Hellhounds with 100, I think 20 HP. But then Greater Hellhounds had even like 200 HP each. I mean, that was crazy. Like the whole Vetian KC was like, was like a thousand HP or something if you combine everything. But now as you can see the second phase also has 150 HP. So it's gonna spawn the Hellhounds again. You're just gonna kill those Hellhounds just one shot them usually. You know Salve Amulet just works wonders since this is undead. And you have to dodge these things. Yeah the lightning bolts. Somebody's coming. Yep yep yep. The light... Love you. Okay. <laughs> this boss just has a lot of clicking. You know, every time it changes the phase, you have to kind of go in the middle. This, you have to dodge. If you don't look, I can't attack. The shield bash staggers you, slowing your next attack. Look, I still cannot attack. It's very slow. It actually prevents you from attacking for like five seconds. You get used to it eventually, but as somebody who likes AFK, and the spider and Callista was super AFK, this boss is just clicking. Just you click constantly. So combine this with constant world hopping because it's so full, which I still don't know the reason why. Maybe because it's just accessibility because it's right there at the teleport spot. But you kind of cannot stay in one place. Every attack you have to move like literally, unless you want to get hit by like six, seven, like slowly it's going to chip off your HP. It's nothing like too bad. Sometimes I just literally too lazy. Like sometimes I would just leave it like this. And then he does like, uh, I don't know, like 10 damage, which is quite a lot and does like zero damage and then eight damage. So it's like slowly sometimes, but you still want to dodge them. So you have a funny feeling that you would have have received a champion scroll that was from uh, a small hellhound. But yeah, looking at the collection log, I am still missing a ring of the gods. You know, from small Callisto and Venonatus, I got a ring each. So I'm thinking it would be super nice just to get one ring from... Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, I dodged that. Nice. Yeah, it would be nice to get the Ring of the Gods because it is still 10 mil. So you see, you also still get Sandfew Serums, but you only get 6 instead of 10. Oh my god! Bro, I got the Skull of Vetian. That's... Oh wait, that's the uh, upgrade for the weapon. So I wanted to say I got super lucky, but the drop is worth like nothing. It is actually worth not much as far as I know. It's like 9 mil or so, and I 
probably should bank right now. So that was at kill count 217, huh? So this is the same thing as Fang of Venonatus. When I got it, I sold it for what, like uh, 43 million. So that was a good one. That upgrades the bow. Then you have the Callisto Claws that upgrades the Chain Mace. It's also very good, approximately 50 mil. But this one just upgrades the Tamaron Scepter which is not really that used now. So I'm just gonna guess that it's approximately 9 million because that's what I saw yesterday. I'm just gonna put it for 9 mil and it's so, wow. Okay, it's 17 million and I, now I'm not even sure if I lost money or not on this. Dragon Bones as well you can get. I'm not sure what the original quantity was though, but you get 60, which is still 161k. Oh my God, I stood on the wrong tile and this is what happens, I guess, when you AFK for too long. Uh, that's like the... I never seen that high hit. I just stood like on three of them because you can get hit by like uh, the tiles that are close to you as well. This bro, this guy, Varax Flail with monk robes. <laughs> I hope this guy's uh, an Iron Man. Oh, this was actually a short trip, maybe 8kc or so, but yeah, this is an example of kills. It's pretty much the same as uh, Spindle and RTO. But I think that's a new addition. I don't remember getting any wine of Zamorax from the original Betian. And I think that's the only drop that just kind of odd. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my god! Yes, I got it! <laughs> oh, yes. It is the 9 mil item, but that's a collection log item that I've been hunting for the longest time, even though I never had a lot of Betian KC, actually. It's my lowest KC of all. Although it's still in chat, it shows like 16 million, but that's definitely not the price. Yeah, if you examine, it's 9.7 mil, so that's what I expect to get. Wait, is the Grand Exchange price actually 16 million? So that means if you go and sacrifice this in the Death's Coffer, and if you do something like this, it goes for 17 million, and you can buy this for only 9 mil. If you want any cash in the coffer, this is like the perfect time to, to get it. But we're not doing it, because I got 240. Four mils. Let's not start doing this again. Okay, what if I put 9.7? Insta sells for 9.7, pretty much. Yep, that was the, the price. Okay, two items so far. We are halfway, pretty much. What's the KC? 278? To just go here. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, okay. Okay, can I do it again? Can I do it again? Come on, come on, come on. Hop, 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 hop. Yes, I did it. Wow, that was good. <laughs> That was actually super scary because for the very first time I actually got TB, like full TB. Then including the spine that I spent 16 hours, then I spent 16 hours at Callisto, and now like, I don't know, 10 hours at Betian it seems. First time ever this happened. Man, that was a long trip actually. I think I stayed way longer than I should have because this time I took like two combat pods, but they were like not full, but... Yeah, lots of, uh, lots of drops. Lots of drops, but the total guide price is only 743k, and like half of it is like from Sanfi Serums. What is this dude? <laughs> it's getting evening, okay? There's like four people, one room. Some guy teleports again, pretends to, oh, I cannot log off, pulls out the Void Walker, whatever it's called. Man, you see, any other people you have to eat up, because at any moment, somebody can just use two specs, and it's so, like, unpredictable. They're kind of waiting until you get damaged as well by, like, the boss, so, like, more damage stacks up. Okay, a big milestone, 400 KC. I don't even know if I can push to 500. It's evening, and it's basically a world hopping simulator right now. If I leave this place, I'm basically gonna hop, like, 20 worlds before I'm gonna find another empty world you know the weird thing is that i'm at 400 kc i already got two drops but i got zero dragon pickaxes oh. yeah initially it felt like it was one in 171 like the old drop rate of the dragon pickaxe uh probably it still is somewhere around that my samples are just a little bit too low you know 500 kc it's not that much but now let's price check everything so i'm gonna do the first price check without i guess we did everything all at once okay so i made 48 million in approximately 16 hours or 500 Calvarian KC, but what if I didn't get the ring? What if I didn't get the skull and I didn't PK that guy? That would be minus 30 mil and I would have been left with only 17.5 mil, which seems to be the lowest out of all demo bosses that I've killed so far, unless I actually forgot some items in the bank. Please don't tell me that I did. Rune Light still doesn't track it, so... But I'll add these 30 million because I did get this. And in total, I made 48 million. But of course, supplies, ether use, and I actually died for the first time. Or for the second time in 48 hours. All the bosses combined. Only second time. I probably profited like good 40 mil just in this video. Combine this with Venonatus and some Callisto with the team bosses that you haven't seen yet that I've done. 
Dude, this Wildy update easily, I already made like 350 mil. And I've been doing this for like three or four days only. Well, I showed this before, but you can metamorphize your uh, Vettian pet. And you can even change it back all the way to a legacy mode. So it's gonna look like the, uh, yeah, <laughs> the old, good old Vettian. Alright guys, thank you for watching.